Hello, in this video I'm going to give you a short tour of all the financial data in SharePad and the different ways in which you can display and use it. Now you can view any of the financial data by clicking on the Financials button which displays data on the right hand side of the screen. Data is displayed on a number of different tabs and you can either scroll down in each tab to see more data or you can click on this button here and make it full screen. So, as you can see, in split screen mode, you can see the dashboard here, and there's lots of other information down the screen. And full screen, you can see it all in one place. If I look at an income statement, you click on the income tab, balance sheet, uh, cash flow statement, and you can see that we've got many years of history here uh, for many stocks. Uh, financial results going back over a number of business cycles. You've also got ratios tab with a host of different investment ratios and note on any of these tabs you can drag an item and drop it onto a chart so you can see the trend. You've also got dividend history, broker forecasts for one, two, three years in many cases. And there are some other tabs up here. You've got the Director Dealings and Major Shareholders tab and the News, either for the current share or the complete news feed. Now, that's great. Great if you're analysing a stock. You can look at all those tabs and get some pretty in-depth uh, information on each company. But what if you want to add data to a column because you want to sort? For example, you might just want to do a simple sort of the FTSE 350 by forecast dividend yield. Right, well, you can access all this financial information uh, and add it to a list table, or you can use it as a criterion in a filter. So let's see how you can do that. In a list, in the list view, click on the Add Column button, and the Add Column dialog pops up. Now this again has got a number of tabs which the information is organised over. Um, you've got tabs just for shares but you've got a tab here for funds and other types of collective like ETFs and investment trusts and gilts and bonds. You've got price data, so whether you're just looking at current price or uh, price change since a particular date or between two dates, uh, new highs and lows for example. And you've got financial results and forecasts, financial ratios, ranking uh, data. So how does a company rank in its sector for uh, PE, for example? And there's also some technical criteria as well. So if you're a trader, you might want to use these to find trading opportunities or to supplement your financial analysis. You can see that for a lot of these items there are a number of sub options which uh, I won't go into here. Now you can also search for items to save yourself looking through the tabs what you're after. If I start typing working capital for example SharePad will find the options available and I can click on the one I want and it'll take me there. Now a very neat feature in SharePad is this combine items bu button. This enables you to do custom calculations. So let's say I wanted to find shares whose forecast PE was cheaper than the 10-year average PE. Shares who, despite the bull run over the last seven or eight years, are still cheaper than their average rating. Well, that's easy enough to do. I go to the Ratios tab and I pick my first criterion just as I would uh, if I were adding it as a column by itself. So I've got PE. I'm going to click on one year forecast. Then I'm going to click on the Combine Items button and I've got my first criterion already entered here. I'm going to choose my second criterion using this button. Again, it's PE. I'm going to take the most recent PE but ask for the average over 10 years. Click on OK. And I want the forecast PE to be less than the 10 year average. Uh, you can see there are a number of options here for performing custom calculations. Uh, click on OK and you can see that in this, in this case SharePad puts a tick next to any company whose forecast PE is indeed lower than its 10-year average PE. 
Uh, and I've got the FTSE 100 displayed here. We can see that there are 33 stocks that meet the criteria. So I've added that as a column. I can sort by it. Uh, but I could also have created a filter. The same add column dialog will come up. The same combine items button will be there. So I could have created a filter searching for stocks with this that met this criterion. And if I was filtering the FTSE 100, it would have found these 33 stocks. Now, if you want any help with any of this, or you can't find an item of data that you're interested in, please pick up the phone and call our friendly support team here in London uh, and we'll get you going as soon as possible.